YouTube Lemon here, what is up? Welcome back to another Yugi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you make Yu Gi Oh videos? What is this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Legends of Rune Terror. I'm sure you have heard about it. This is Riot Games card, digital card game based on the League of Legends games. It. You all know a lot of familiar characters, faces. So what am I doing on Rune Terror all of a sudden? There is enough unsuccessful Rune Terror content creators out there. Like what a little noob can you do? Well, sorry to disappoint you, I am currently in diamond rank. Uh, I've, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good at this, I'll say. And then I'm also thinking that like in the downtime of hospital content i want to do a variety per day of don't worry like it's majority still going to be based on not majority it's just it's it, i'm still a Yu-Gi-Oh channel it's just i'm just every sunday i want to uh, out of the way i want to play some variety and what made me decide to step my toes in uploading a rune terror video is this weird mold deck uh, mold decks are few far wide in between uh, in card game, and it's one of the more obscure win conditions. Win conditions out there. I felt like if a new mold deck comes out, I should try it out. And I am also currently grinding cards to get a uh, ghost trick or master. It's gonna be a good one. Uh, back to Rune Terror. They have this weird mold deck. It is like stalling. It stalls a lot. Basically, it is you have a card that. King's damage and heals our heals our life points. This card creates more cards in our deck. This card creates more cards in our deck. This card allows both players to draw more. And that's how we mull. We have a lot of stalling, damaging, pinging cards. So if we can't let's see if we just annoy our opponent to death or we mull them to death. Either way. I hope to showcase you a Legends of Rune Terror video, and I hope to, I hope you guys can show me, tell me if you like this content or not. Should I make one every single week, just for like variety, or just for like just for keeping up the YouTube content per day, or until I get monetized so I can go straight back. So, so I can start buying booster boxes and getting monetized. Otherwise, they will be very expensive. This is the life. I'm very honest with you guys, so. Now, without further ado, let's jump into a game of Legends of Rune Terror. Alright, so jumping into our game. Uh, I just want to say, don't worry, everybody. Please don't leave yet. All the, the 50 of you, please don't leave yet. I am still going to be making mainly Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Uh, I just feel like, like some fun variety I can do during the downtime of Master Duel. Uh, and during the downtime of me grinding gems for for new jank decks, like I am, I'm having more fun playing jank top rank. I love that title. I'm still having fun playing jank top rank than uh, uh, playing competitively. There's nothing to play for. However, with the upcoming tournaments, I am either gonna play it very very wholeheartedly, or I'm gonna go troll it. Uh, imagine playing like Monarch. <laughs> no extra deck <like>, Monarch. <laughs> Alright, so our opponent is playing a, a Shirima, pure Shirima deck. Now, uh, I know I haven't explained that champions can level up, but a Shirima deck, champions can level up two times. Yeah, they can go to level three. Yeah, uh, it's very, very, very. Very, very weird. So what the aim of my deck is to create as much of these go hards as possible as each time I cast it. I get to shuffle it back in and I get to shuffle a cop two copies of it back into my deck. So I will continuously increase the number of cards in my deck. And not in my city. I'll continue to increase the number of uh, go hards in my deck. Therefore, my opponent cannot. Therefore, my opponent. Therefore, I can't be decked out. But my opponent can. So this is. So there's no ways of like 
building your opponent's cards, but you can in cards in your deck while decrease like wall of wall, wall, uh, wall of attritioning both sides. Our opponent is okay. Let's play the Loof Travelers. So this card is both players draw one, and our opponent discards the most expensive. Whoa, ha, ha. Guys, why not? I just this, but that is his big oof card. <laughs> you play it, and we go oof. <laughs> That's how bad that card is. We go oof. So far, we don't need to do. We can just, we can just uh, play down with our opponent. We have a lot, so we're playing control. We are con gonna control our opponent so hard. Like as you can see. Vengeance, kill the unit. Uh, Ruination, kill all units. Basically, dark, dark hole. <laughs> Basically, it's a dark hole. Uh, but very cost nine man. So how the mana system works? Yeah, is every single round you gain one extra mana gem, and every three unspent mana gets banked. Every three unspin mana gets banked in round. That's how we do it. Oh shoot! You have given us something to believe in. Oh, I haven't explained. So after you use go hard three times, go hard become pack your bags. Pack your bag says deal five to deal five to everything. Our opponent. That is another way of how we control our opponent. So uh, since we deal five to everything, we want to get his Azir down to five health. Our opponent's trying very hard, very, very, very hard. Sun disc leveled up. I'll explain. Ah, you'll, the sun disc is if it levels up, our opponents both of our opponents' monsters become ascended. Basically, they level up again. So, so if you summon three thirteen allies, they level up once. And if you restore the sun disc, they level up again. This is only for ascended champions. No one else. This shell. There's nothing for us to do. What do we want to draw? I, I'm, 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 I'm happy to draw. So this is kill an ally to draw two. Uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh terms, it is break even. Using one card and one card of field to draw. There we go, I'll pack our bags. Let's pack our opponent's bags, shall we? So we need to be very careful of the mana system. So we also have champions of our own. And mine is Ezreal and another champion called Senna. His level up is targeting three enemies. Thank you. Boom. Elusive. Elusives can only be blocked with elusive. So, unless my opponent has an elusive card, he will be hitting our opponent's excess, which is also a life point directly. All right. I think we have baited out enough cards of our opponent. We are now going to pack his bags. Pack. There's a very very cool animation with this. Uh, after I pack these bags, all the the go hards will become go hards again. All the go hards will trans transform, and we're gonna do the process again. Three go hards, pack the bags. Oh, okay. Our opponent has eight for it. This is not too have nice of him. Okay, we'll allow it. That's not very nice. Now we can play our Mystic Shots, but we don't want to be. We want to have 9 mana, so we can kill all his units. Oh, oh, we have another pack. The Hell Packer, oh. We will be taking quite a bit of... Yeah. That's fine. So Azir levels up after summoning all units. You do not want him to level up. As Sundisk says. As the Sundisk, the Sundisk says, if you level up an uh, ally, advancing by 10 rounds. So this round level up. Basically, we don't want it to happen. We are going to pack his bags again and maybe give him a little emote. Hi! Let's <laughs> not the master little beats. Emotes. Like, sometimes I just want to mwah, rub it in. Okay, nothing. 
forget about the practical perfectionist. Oh, aside from being a very nice card, he can predict. So predict is look at three random cards in your deck and put on. And she, while predicting, also creates extra copies of what we predicted. <laughs> Alright, so we just do not want him to have... What's... I don't miss. Alright, so now that we have Hex for Foundry, every single turn, both players draw two cards. So this is another way of pulling him out. We at two times speed pulling of the millening. And in our round. You. So this is two mana, deal two to anything, what he creates when he hits the opponent's life points. Back directly. Okay, that is that is fine. That is fine. I'm going to go hard on you. Don't go so hard. So this is uh, and go hard is something called draining. It attacks. It damages and also heals our nexus, our life points. Oh look here, he's BMing us as well. This is what I like to see. Let's create some more go hards in our deck, shall we? Oh, uh, no, we didn't. Uh, I do not mind drawing a Senna. Oh, drawing a Senna sounds good. So this is our other champion in our deck, which we do not mind hitting. This is, we already have this. I know you're thinking Let's get a Hipsaw Foundry. Could you maybe speed things up a little? A one, a two, a oh, oh boy! Yep. Yep. Oh, there's a zero level. Okay, our opponent. Our opponent has done it. He yeah, has successfully leveled up, so that's the first level up, and now he's going to level up again. And it's the mechanics of this deck. He's leveled up and also cool. I, I wish Figure has... I know, like, uh, Rintero, I mean, uh, Duel Links has a lot of animations, but they get tired of them. They do get tiring of x Foundry Founder is on top of our deck. We don't want it. Point go hard. Ah! What is this? Oh, wait. Oh, we can use it. We can use it. We can use it. A summon. Now we'll be drawing. So, the one thing about Azir, when he levels up the second time, his deck be gets replaced with like super strong stuff. But also, he only has 15 cards left in his deck. <laughs> now he's overdrawing. All I need to do is play... Oh, oh. All I need to do is Vengeance. And bye-bye. Yes, yes, yes. You're the best. You're the best. Oof. Dead. Vengeance is like a skill. Bang. Tried so hard to get it up. And now my Israel's leveled up. We also get to have an animation, Mr. Blue Demon Rin. We can also animate you. Now, our level up is actually good. When he levels up, each time we cast a spell, we deal 1 to his health. If we target someone with a spell, we deal 2 to his health. Let me give you a showcase. I am now going to target this guy. Targeted him, a unit with a spell. When it resolves, our Ezreal will deal 2 to his health. To his life points. When I'm summoned, draw one. Round end, the strongest enemy, and I strike each other. Ah, uh, that's not good. I'm gonna send him a little sad emoji. He has nine cards left in his deck. It's really not that much. Yeah, I'm fine with this. You can't, you can't kill my Israel. It's okay. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 we have an issue. I'm going to use get Israel's use again. Ping. Well then round. Overdrawing! He's overdrawing! He is overdrawing! He has five cards left in his deck. Can we do it? Okay, right now I'm not scared of it. If he attacks with ah We need to draw. Hmm.
the hards. So if we if we both pass initiative, then the, the turn will end. So we do not want to pass our initiative. We want to do something to pass him initiative. So as you can see now, this game is the uh, As you can see, this game is like an initiative base. If you play a card, I play a card. You play a card, I play a card. It's your turn to attack, you attack. Our opponent has four cards, three cards left in his hand, and we win. Guns, we'll draw one, he'll draw one, we'll draw two. Oh, wait, he has no more cards left in He has no more cards left in his deck. Zero. We just need the turn to end, and we will win. Can our opponent kill us this turn? Maybe. Oh, okay, that's not. The, that's the horrible. We we probably lost it. Eh? Yes. Yes. Um this. I think we lost. A vengeance. Vengeance is the must. Vengeance is Oh he what? Okay, let me explain, let me explain. What what happened there? We won, we won. Uh, let me just go find the card. Okay, so what happened? Odds. Alter. Okay, Emperor's deck, there we go. The opponent had no more cards in his deck and we all know that alternate win conditions is if your opponent can no longer draw from his deck they 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 lose so this part of this is summon an exact copy of an ally it's normal means it's dying draw one he couldn't draw one therefore he lost they didn't even give us a chance to beat up him but that is that is a how we mull in edges of rune terror there are more conventional ways of milling. There are more conventional ways. This is that's why you saw the name of the deck. It's weird mold. It's a very funny mold. But we have done it. We have successfully molded our opponent's deck. So he shared it for us. Would we have lost them? He had five, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven, or thirteen. But he didn't have enough. He didn't dust. Would have won. Uh that is that that's how we want if you're very confused and before you say that's is such a bad game i can't understand anything at all it is i'm explaining there was a, a draw was involved and they couldn't draw so they lost well once again thanks for watching thanks for watching a legion of the video that is weird more and tomorrow we'll be back for more Yu-Gi-Oh content and i'll